Hello and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. I remind you that we release a new video three times a week. Our special guest today is Anna. Hello. And Svetlana. Hello. Svetlana is going to show you how to do the fitting properly. I'll have a seat and write down the information. I have my notebook and a pen with me. And Sveta and Anna will turn to the mirror now and tell you everything. Today we are going to do the fitting of our pantsuit, which we all cut together, chose fabric and drafted. Well, our task is getting harder. Why? Because we need to make it in one fitting. First we'll look at the top of the pantsuit. And later we'll take off the jacket and look at the pants. What can we see? We've introduced some changes behind the camera already, because we're working against time. Anna just told us that she likes everything, this side here, but I don't like it. Of course, it immediately caught my eye that we have diagonal poles here. We removed the diagonal poles by increasing the depth of the dart. Now I'm going to unpin what I pinned behind the camera and show you how much I removed these diagonal poles by deepening the dart. It's literally one centimeter here. Basically, the part that I drafted needs to be removed now. It's common for such a size. Even for Ola, we removed the darts, and then later we still make them because we don't like the way it looks on her. Yes, I need the darts. I know for sure that clothes don't fit me without darts. That's why we had to return the dart to the same place it was before. That's it. And because we increased the opening of the dart, a part on top will not match. We'll just cut from the back side. Show it to us, please. You can raise your hand and show us later. I don't see what's happening there. Please pay attention that we're not touching the waistline. Here's the waistline, red thread. So we keep the balance in place. The only thing we do after we remove the depth of the dart, it turns out our back is higher, so we'll cut the back only along the armhole. And thus, we will even the armhole out in the side seam. Like this. The dart is at the level where it should be. It doesn't need to be higher or lower. It goes right to the center of the chest. We'll leave it here. The shoulder seam is right along the shoulder. Turn in the back. This is our back block. Here's the center back. We have a good plumb, nothing is scuffed up. The center back is vertical. That's why the back is simply gorgeous. It's great. And now, do you like the length of the pants? It's a bit too long, because during the fall, when it's raining, it won't be very nice. A bit too long. I would like to ask you to fold. Let's roll it up. Let's roll it up to make it shorter. Look, I folded once. This will be the level of the heel. This is the heel, and here is the heel level. Let me fold it, and we'll see, okay? Svetlana, I'd like to say that I like this fold very much. This is what I wanted. So we're not cutting, but leaving the fold as it is. I'd like for the sleeve and the hemline to match. This is a very good option. Also, I'd like to ask you to do the stitching. A crease along the center front. I'd like to say that I like this side very much. I'm happy. The pantsuit is great. It suits me. I think everybody will be happy. Yes, but we need to remember that we have a pocket, right? And there is a self-belt along the hemline. 
That's why we need to determine now. I drew approximately that here we have a pocket, if you like its size. Yes, I like it. It's very good. I think it's good, right? The size is right. So we can choose the buttons together at the table. And now we're going to take off the top part of the pantsuit and look at the top part of the pants, okay? And now we're going to look how the pants will fit Anna. Remember that I said that I wanted to make a belt. Here is the top part of the pants. It is exactly at the waistline level. I wanted to make a shape belt. There are such pants. But the client wanted something else instead. Yes, I want the belt to be attached on top, so that it gathers a bit here. Yes. We'll discuss the pocket opening now, how comfortable it is, Anna. A bit deeper. Place your hand like this. You want it deeper, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay, then two centimeters. Now it will be too much. Well, deeper for 1.5 centimeters. The pocket opening line is changing here. Now let's look at the back of pants. Very good. Very good. I like it. Everything fits well. The crease is even. Everything is vertical. No poles. What about the volume? What do you think about here? I want more room here. It's good that I added two centimeters here. That's why we have some extra to use for the allowance. So that there would be some freedom below the waistline level. I can rest assured that I have enough to make it more capacious for you. Before we take the pants off, we need to measure the waistline. We need to make sure and write it down so that we have the belt we need. Together a bit. Yes, and now we'd like to discuss a little bit. I took the details and we'll discuss with Anna and finally choose the buttons. The decoration for the pantsuit, right? Here I'm showing the whole range I tried. I went to all the stores that we have and chose what best matches the original. And some that don't match. But I wanted for Anna to have a choice. So it's in your hands now. I like these details and these buttons very much. Bingo! They're magical. And the button in front, the big one. It's just perfect. I didn't expect that. I thought you would take your time thinking, but you made your choice immediately. So it's not up for discussion. These buttons are also beautiful, but these are ones caught my eye. I agree with you, Anna. That's why we'll proceed to sew the pantsuit and wait for a review of the finished piece. Today we have Anna with us. Hello. Today we have a long-awaited review of the pantsuit. Anna finally found time to come here. What do you think? The pantsuit is great. When I saw it, wow, just wow. Please turn around. We'll show the gorgeous pantsuit from all sides. Last time, if you didn't watch the video when we were choosing the buttons, Anna said immediately that the buttons will be bright black, like this. And today, when I saw this wonderful jewelry set, I understood why Anna chose these black buttons. Maybe it's been a while since we did the cutting and the drafting, so let's refresh our memory and think about the cutting of the suit as well as the origins of this masterpiece. 
Remember that the jacket is very loose. It's a mix between a loose shirt and a jacket with a light hand on oversize. The armhole is very deep, the sleeve is straight, loose, without any gatherings. All of it is a shirt style. So this is a very unique clothing. It's neither a jacket nor a shirt. Of course, the garment has lining. That's why it would be something new, like a jacket shirt, like a coat dress, a jacket dress. This is a jacket shirt. Also, there are some parka coat elements, sports elements, a self belt with nice decorative shoelaces with aglets, large patch pockets. This freedom here, one button, of course it allows for movement, it does not constrain the body when moving, because if all of these here was tightly buttoned, how could Anna be conducting here? For those who didn't watch, Anna is a teacher of singing. She conducts, sings, teaches children how to sing, where to start. And of course, your freedom is important, freedom of movement, so that nothing is tight or distracting. The dart here is partially removed, but its main part is still kept and turns into the side seam. Anna forbade us to make any clear fitting on chest. The wish was for all these to be free, to hang, so freedom. Anna likes freedom very much. That's why we have a loose jacket. Some people can say that there is no fit, but this sleeve is wide, shirt-like, deep in armhole, wide in front and back. They don't ask for a perfect fit on chest, as it in a classic jacket or a sheath dress. Turn it back, please. The back also has its secrets. Very interesting. We placed a shoulder dart between the yoke and the back, so that here... Anyways, there's no clear fit here, but you see how it fits due to the correct work with shoulder dart. There is a rather wide fold on the center back, but it's wide in the top part. There is no opening in the lower part, and this freedom goes into the planned width of the back, so to speak. The back is longer than the side part. You see here we have a side panel or princess line. Here are the vents, uh, which also turn into slits. It's a working vent. Here are the buttonholes and buttons. I think that the garment turned out great. With this grey heron bone fabric, it looks very nice. You can wear it with any turtleneck, of any color, any jewelry. In general, not just a woman, a dream. Of course, we'll look at the pants now. It looks great. I'm happy. My emotions are off the scale. I say this pantsuit before, but didn't expect it to be so stylish and profiling. I think none of our subscribers expected such a result. There were many questions as to why we didn't show it for such a long time, but look at the results. Moving on to the pants. The pants are loose with steam-pressed seamed creases. Because of it, the pants will always have shape. It's very convenient when washing, ironing, when we stitch a crease on the center of pants, so that we don't look for a center every time. It's very convenient to use this method on school pants for children. Very convenient. Look how spectacular, how clear, no matter how well you steam press the crease, with time they'll either fold or loosen. Whereas here it will always be perfect. Anna looks as if she had just come out of the atelier. In the upper part, uh, may I lift a bit? There's the stitched crease, a fold. Look how it gives both freedom and shape the pants. It looks great. It doesn't constrain the movement, looks like a decorative element on pants. Then there is a deep pocket. It is functional. You can put something inside. Very well made. Further, all this section here, there is a waistband with a very light gathering. 
is practically invisible, but it gives a nice fit on the waistline area. In order to keep the style of this pantsuit, since we have wide folds on the sleeves, we left the folds on the hemline of pants as well and stitched them with a different fabric. I'll show this part in more detail on the table. Let me ask you to turn around once more so that everyone can see how beautiful Anna is. Look, you can put your hands into pants and in the jacket, both hands the way you like. There are a lot of options, there are a lot of options here. It's beautiful both when it's buttoned up and when it's open. I'm very happy with the work of professionals. Thanks a lot. I had an idea, but didn't expect it to be so beautiful, fashionable, stylish. Just stand innovation. Svetlana is great. Our team did a great job. Master Cislava was stitching the pantsuit. You heard about her and saw many of her works. That's why together we created an outfit for you and we're happy that you keep coming to our atelier and let us film you. And congratulations with such a great new suit. We're looking forward to see you in our next projects and thank you so much for letting us show you in our video blog. Thank you and see you next time. See you next time. Let's look at the finishing of the suit on the table. Obviously, it's very beautiful on the body. And when it's on the table, you can see how much work was put here, how much time to sew the suit, and how many efforts and knowledge as well. First of all, I'd like to remind you, let's go from top to bottom. The color is deep Apache. Here it is short and here it is deep, beautiful. Together with Sveta, we did the cutting and the drafting. Next, if you remember, we changed the chest dart so that it's more fitting. We have one button on the front block. Due to this, we have freedom for movement. When Anna is conducting, there won't be any obstacles for her to raise her hands. Hatch pockets. As you remember, the sleeves are lowered and the armhole is deepened. Wide folds. Probably the small nuances make this jacket different from the one we had on sketch. In the lower part, there are two buttonholes and a self belt. A matching store both shoelace and nice antique silver aglets. Let's look at the back. Here is a rather large, beautiful yoke. Inverted box pleat on the center back and high slits that have buttonholes and buttons. Let me turn this, open it and show you. The buttons are glossy, they're beautiful, very visible, they make an accent here. Here are the vents. Along the center back the jacket is prolonged. The vents are working with buttonholes and buttons, and now we're going to look inside. We're unbuttoning. It will make everything nicely. The lining here is stretching, completely copies the top of the garment. Rather wide button stand. Everything is stitched according to the rules of stitching a classic jacket. And now we're moving on to look at the pants. I'd like to say that many of you were worried during the drafting as to where 4 cm will go. So after the fitting we even had to loosen them. But they weren't too loose. 
And here, in the belt between the side seam and waistline dart, there is a small waistband which tightens the pants a bit for a good fit, so that everything is comfortable when wearing. Look how perfect they look on the table. Everything is made very nicely and correctly. Also, these pants are decorated with stitched crease and give this outfit a branded look. You see, they even lay on the table perfectly. They'll be comfortable after washing. These creases are not going anywhere. It's very convenient to do so on school pants for kids. You just stitch once and then iron quickly. You don't need to look for a center front, fold every time, connect the side seams. Perfect side seam, very nice folds, nice pockets and the hemline. Since Anna wanted to make folds after the fitting, we made the hemline out of a lining fabric. So, in combination with jacket, it looks very nice and interesting. It's not clear right away that we lengthen the pants. It's as if a branded finish in here. But this is how the finishing is done. I think if we had enough length, we'd just make the fabric hemline and continue. In our case, we have to work a bit more than usual. Let's turn the pants around. Look how beautiful the front part is on the table. Nice creases, which were stitched and steam pressed. You can see an even shadow, very beautiful pants. I like them very much. Let's look at the fly shield. For those who can sew a fly shield correctly, we have a mini course on how to sew a fly shield. Here's the diagonal buttonhole, a button. Let me turn it inside out and we'll have a look. All seams on pants fabric are finished on the serger and stitched on the regular sewing machine. The only thing is that the bell is piped with the lining fabric. Very neat, thin piping. The fly shield is perfect. Look at such a delicate, beautiful work. We stitched the pocket section with French seams, so there is no need for a serger and no roughness because of piping. Today we have such a long-awaited video that we finally made. Finally Anna managed to come to us. We showed you the review of a ready-to-wear garment. We showed the garment on the table. I hope we inspired you to create, to sew something new for yourself and to make the world more beautiful. It's time to say goodbye. This has been the Global Fashion Workshop channel. All the best from Olga Paukste, Anna and the rest of our team. Subscribe to our channel, like and comment. See you soon. Bye.